Okay guys, I don't know if you've seen this come out. Um, apparently these are called fat babies and it's served by a restaurant out in Las Vegas. Where basically they take this big Italian loaf and they cut it in half and they hollow it out and they pour all of this pasta and stuff in it. Um, it looks amazing. And literally this video was posted yesterday on June 19th, 2019 and this inspired me to try to make my own fat baby. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure you're seeing a mess of stuff just to make some spaghetti, but I am not just making spaghetti, I am making fat babies. And if you don't know what a fat baby is, there's a restaurant that created this phrase called fat baby. And basically they take bread and they hollow it out. They toast it. Um, they turn it into like a garlic bread on the outside, you know, with butter and garlic, salt and all that stuff. And then they stuff it full of cheesy pastas, any sort of cheesy pastas. It could be a penne, it could be an Alfredo fettuccine, um, it could be spaghetti, it could be anything. So I posed this idea to the kids and I was like, hey, how about we try a fat baby and make it on our own and show everybody else how to do it. But we're going to do it with spaghetti since that seems to be the average what everybody will eat around here. And we're going to make it super cheesy. We're going to add in the cheddar cheese sauce mix, um, mac yourself fast and easy stuff with some mozzarella cheese, melt it into it, make it really nice and thick and gooey and basically combine it into the sauce the best way we can. So let's get this party started. We have our Italian bread here, a full loaf, and I have um, French bread here. Uh, they don't make Italian bread any smaller and the boys wanted to do their own. I didn't want to give them so much uh, to try to eat. So hopefully French bread holds the garlic, uh, salt and butter well enough. What I'm going to do is toast these with butter and garlic salt uh, on the top or around and everything. And then when they're toasted, uh, I'm going to cut them in half and we're going to hollow them out and that's where all the stuff is going to go inside. I need to get my water going once I get this set to the side uh, after being prepped so I can get the spaghetti going. In this pot I'm going to do the Italian sausage pasta sauce with diced tomatoes and I have pork sausage as the meat. I was going to do green peppers, which would be a great idea, but I don't, I didn't grab those. I have my seasonings that are going to go in the meat, which is going to be Italian, onion powder, and garlic powder. I don't know why that got set up. And then I'm going to do the cheese sauce. Probably, I might have to get the bigger, the other one that's the size. So I'm going to make a cheese sauce separately that way the boys can choose if they want the pasta sauce or the cheese sauce or a combination of both. Unfortunately I don't have one of those pastry brushes or whatever like you know what I'm talking about the pastry brushes that you have when you're got a grill and you're barbecuing and, and stuff like that. I don't have one of those <laughs> so we're just gonna cake the butter on and cover it in the garlic salt. I'm going to actually add some garlic powder to it too to give it an extra oomph of flavor. There we go. Easy cheese sauce calls for a half cup of milk. Uh, two tablespoons of the mix and one tablespoon of the butter. 
I'm going to add a little bit of extra milk since we are melting in the mozzarella cheese as well. So I'm going to do a full cup of milk. All right, so what I have is the one cup of milk, one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add my two tablespoons of cheddar uh, mix uh, once it starts melting down the butter. And then I'm going to add cubed up half of this mozzarella to that to thicken it up a bit. Um, I'm also going to add mozzarella to there to kind of cut the acidity of the tomato sauce and make it uh, pretty cheesy, hopefully. I need to add my seasoning to the meat and fry that up. We got the sauces going. Now we got the meat going. The water's almost ready for the pasta to be thrown in. Add about half a cup of Parmesan Romano cheese and see if that can thicken it up a little bit. I'm still waiting on the cubes of the mozzarella to melt down. I think I'm going to add half a cup of Parm Romano to this as well. We have the pasta noodles cooking. I broke them in half so that when they do go into the bread, it's not huge long noodles to deal with. The cheese sauce is nice and thick. I had to add an extra maybe half a cup of milk because um, it, was, it was getting really, really thick. So I added more milk to it to give it more of a sauce consistency. And the spaghetti sauce, the meat was done, so I threw that in there. The cheese is still melting. It looks really awesome. We're just waiting on the noodles because the bread is done. I just need to cut it and core it. All right, so this is, I'm using the tongs to basically grab the bread and twist it and pull it out. Try not to destroy the outer layer so that it will still hold everything inside of it. Just basically dig a big old hole in there best way I can so that we can put the pasta and everything in it. I've already got these hollowed out for the boys. So now I gotta drain the pasta. Let me turn that off. Alright, so for the boys. They're doing a French bread, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist their pasta into the cheese sauce and dip it in here. Zane wants the tomato sauce, but he doesn't like the sausage, so we're just going to roll the pasta around in there. Um, Gavin wants definitely the cheese sauce, so I'm going to do that. Gavin. Just kind of roll it around in there. Nice and cheesy. Stuff it in. Grab some more pasta for you. I don't want to go overboard with pasta. There we go. Cheesy. There, right, Gavin, that one's yours. If I can get the noodles off. There we go. I don't know how to stand these up. Unfortunately, I don't have what the restaurant has, which is those little funnel things. So I don't, I'm not sure how to stand this up right now. Any ideas? No. No ideas? Cup. Give me a red cup. Red cup in a bowl, just in case it tips a little. There you go, Gavin. There is your fat baby. 
child. It is your child. <laughs> All right, so Zane wanted the tomato sauce without going overboard with the sausage. So I'm just going to roll it in there. That way he doesn't end up with any sausage. Scoop that in. He wasn't very fond of the cheese sauce, so I'm going to just top his with regular cheese probably. The grated cheese. I think the only problem with this is the fact that it gets wrapped around the tongs. That and I lose a few in there. It's whatever. I've lost quite a few little pieces. I think that was a piece of sausage. He does not want sausage. Right, you know, I don't want to go overboard with Zane's because I know he'll probably tip it. Let me get a grated cheese and just kind of sprinkle it. On the top for him. And there you go. And that one's for Zane Zane. Alright. So the big ones are mine and Michael's. And what I'm going to do is, I think the boys pretty much are going to have their fill with theirs. <laughs> I mean, there, there's no way. They're going to take seconds. They never really do with spaghetti. So I'm just going to dump all this in. And that's not pretty. And mix it up. Ugh, great. That's how you get stuff on your burner. <laughs> Throw that over here. I'm going to mix it up really good. I don't know how this restaurant does it with so much sauce and so I mean look at that that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is with ours since it's already got the tomato sauce stuff but not the four cheese sauce I'm gonna put a little bit in about halfway. Let go of me. And then I'm gonna scoop some amazing cheese sauce just right on top. And then take another big old heaping full right there. Ugh, it's touching me. This is going to be one very messy meal, but so worth it. Let go. There. Let it go. Look at that cheese. That's a lot of cheese. I'm going to top it off with some more cheese. And there you go. An adult portion fat baby. You like it? Mm -hmm. Is that better than having regular spaghetti every time I make it or no? No. Yeah. <laughs> you like your regular spaghetti? Mm -hmm. uh, if you had to rank it between 1 and 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. 8. An 8? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Awesome. Initial reaction? Yes. My mouth does not fit around this. <laughs> so this is about to get really messy. That's the purpose. <laughs> That's good. It's real good. Awesome. So this is my first bite. It is very salty. I've got it all over my fingers. Oh my goodness. So cheesy. Oh, it's so perfect. It's like a giant hot pocket, basically. <laughs> you know, it's, it is. Except it's filled up because Hot Pockets are never filled up correctly. Um, but yeah, it's basically garlic toast with spaghetti inside of it. And it's very cheesy. It's, oh my god, it's really good. I'm very messy. 
The big babies aren't too bad. Mm -hmm. You like the big baby? It's just a little too salty. A little too salty, so maybe next time I'll just do garlic powder instead of garlic salt? Yeah. Sure, I can do that. Just a little bit less. Okay. So, but you like it? It's all in one spaghetti and garlic bread? Mm -hmm. Lots of cheese? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Zayze likes it. And Zayze's super picky, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> I actually, I'm pretty picky.